prior to his start against the Rockies. And there's Millwood. Top of the fourth. Millwood has a 2-0 lead, but Vinny Castilla cuts that in half. Ninth of the season, 11-game hit streak. It's just a 2-1 Braves lead. That's your score in the top of the fifth. Runners on first and second for the Rockies. Larry Walker at the plate. Walker. Grounds went in the hole. As again, nice diving stop, and it saves a run. Next batter, Vinny Castillo. <coughs> Pops it up. Hey, I'm fine. You're back. Gian makes the catch down the inning. Puts it away. Puts it away. Castillo bombing. He had a good pitch to hit. Braves hold on to win 3-1. Well, it wasn't any kind of problem at all for Millwood. Tied at three, runners on second and third. In the third, Ron Vallone coming in relief against Robin Ventura. Looking. Vallone pitched well out of the pen, helped out by a man he was once traded for, Greg Vaughn, in that Milwaukee-San Diego trade. Vaughn busts out the whooping stick on Al Lauder for his 10th of the season, 4-3 Reds. It's 5-3 Reds in the ninth. Scott Williamson facing Robin Ventura, who struck out four times in the game. Reds win 5-3. Vallone and Williamson combined for six and a third innings of hitless relief as the Reds improved to three games over 500. Another extremely candid manager, Stewart, said Jack McKeon, the bullpen's been the keynote question. We don't have any starting pitching. <laughs> Monday and what is that, air holes? Is that what it is? McGuire going yard and batting practice. 513 feet. He hit it so hard, a, an arrow formed in Florida to show you where the ball hit. That is far away. Top of the third, 2-0 Cardinals. McGuire up, man on. Put four outfielders in the outfield, and he still finds a hole. Double for Big Mac. He went two for five, 3-0 Cardinals. Now to the moment everyone will be talking about in the office. Bottom of the fifth, 4-1 Cardinals. Cliff Floyd takes Kent Bottenfield the other way with a runner on second. It goes off the wall and in the field of play. Alex Gonzalez scores. Floyd says, hold on a minute, I hit a home run. After some deliberating, the umpires agree with him. 4-3 Cardinals, or Tony La Russa comes out, argues the call, says, you hit a wall, and Frank Pulley, 28 years in the league, for the first time, looks at a replay to see if Floyd's toe was in the crease, or if the ball went off the wall, and you could see it was an ESPN game, so the ESPN camera showed it went off the wall. Floyd back to second, he doesn't score, as you might imagine, rapidly in the second inning. Juan Gonzalez, chasing, grounds to short. Ray Sanchez, nice throw to get him. Supon retired the first eight batters he faced and took a two-hitter into the eighth when Tom Goodwin just hits the pitcher. Off of Supon's knee, and unfortunately for the Royals, he would have to leave the game. Jeff Montgomery in the bottom of the ninth, one out, one on. Yvonne Rodriguez at the plate, down 3 nothing. Still a grounder to short from Pudge. A double play would end it. It's a short roller, and Rodriguez beats it out. So this game is not over. Two batters later, two men on for Lee Stevens. He got it. Grazing the top of the wall and gone. Third blown save and seven chances for Montgomery. We're tied at three. Bottom of the tenth, runner on second. One out, Rusty Greer intentionally walked to set up the force play, but that force play would be on Juan Gonzalez. And he just grounds through the hole in left field. And that'll wrap it up as Tom Goodwin beats the throw home. The Rangers win by the final of four to three. And have now won a season high seven straight games have the Rangers, their longest winning streak since August of 96. Bottom of the second, man on for Eric Chavez with two outs. There facing Bobby three. Witt. Hits one deep to center. Randy Wynn misjudges. Mm. Chavez goes all the way to third. A ribby triple makes the score four to two. Devil Rays. Bottom of the third, one out, bases loaded for the struggling Ben Grieve. Grieve at the plate. Grounds it to the apparent double play, but the throw from Kevin Stocker goes away from the crime dog. Miguel Tejada, Jason Giambi score. The A's up 5-4 in the course of the era. 7-6 A's in the top of the seventh. Almedo signs can't handle it. Paul Sorrento single brings in Wade Boggs. We're tied at seven. Bottom of the ninth, Tony Phillips leading off against Esteban Jan. And look out. Hits him, and he's staring. He's got something to say to him. And soon, we're going to be playing the feud. Bench is clearing. Folks out. Lots of pushing and shoving. Now, why isn't every single person coming off this bench suspended? There was nobody ejected, and I'm off my soapbox. All right. Matt Stairs ends the game later in the frame when everybody went back to the dugouts. Order was restored, and now everybody could just drive home safely. Oakland wins 10-7. to 7. The A's finish May. All five. Right. You get my point.
Reader. Top two, two zip Giants, Carlton Lord and Kirk Reader with the runner on third. Reader lines to left. Richard really attacks from third. He's called out. Now, he's not happy with the call. Now, we don't care because we're objective, but in our objectivity, we can show you that it really was safe. Mike Lieberthal's mitt never touched him. Bad call, cost a run. Top seven, Yorkis Perez pitching to Bill Miller with the runners on first and third. Miller, an easy pop-up to right, but no one catches it. But watch, Miller runs right by Marvin Bernard because Bernard thought the ball would be caught. Miller called out, but the runner from third scores three zip giants. Bottom seven, score tied 3-3. Alex Arias, what'd you use, a five iron? Nah, just an easy four iron, kept my head down. Same tempo on the back swing. Second homer of the year for Arias, 12th of his career. Phillies win it. Six, J. Bell on first. Oh. Luis Gonzalez. Shorty is like, got crazy skills. He already has a 30-game hitting streak once this year. This one, a new 10-game hitting streak on his 11th jack of the year, two zip Diamondbacks. Be young, young Kim. Just schooled Rondell White. He fanned the side of the eighth, but bottom nine, 5-2, Kim in trouble. Two on for the 20-year-old, and Orlando Cabrera took the 5-foot-7 flame throw out in the backyard, beat him upside the head with a stick. Cabrera's third of the year tied in at five. Top ten, Steve Klein facing Kelly Stinnett with the man on. That's tight. Stinnett, two-run jack, his fifth of the year. Guy came into the game hitting just 146. Sinet said later, some of us, some of us, on for Manny Ramirez. Man up, man up. Takes the breaking ball from Orlando Hernandez over the center foot wall, but Manny didn't even know it went out. Kenny Lofton had to say, yo, Manny, that's your 14th home run of the year, bro. You're hitting 350. You better recognize. Get in here. Home run. Top two, two on two out for Robbie Alomar. Grounds one to Tino Martinez, who flips to Hernandez, but El Duque, El my bad. Loads the bases on a play that should have been the last out. El Duque's first E1 of the year. Next batter, Ramirez. Grounds one that takes an absolutely crazy hop. Travis Fryman scores. Everybody else is safe. Manny, a league high, 63 RBI. Take another look. The ball hits off umpire Tim Sheeta's foot. Yanks lose a second chance to get out of the inning. Manny on pace for 208 RBI. Next batter, Jim Tomei with the bases loaded. Tomei, and the Lord said you got to rise up. His third career Grand Slam, his seventh homer of the year, the 53rd Grand Slam in the bigs this year, the most ever before June 1st. Indians win it easily, 7-1. Derek Jeter did get a triple. That's Martinez chilling with his shades and his 10 wins. Nomar garcia Par forgot his shades, still chilling with his 339 batting average. First batter of the game, Nomar not chilling. Luis Polonia pops it up. No more, just loses it in the sun. Even guys who go two for four in the day and have 41 RBI this year make mistakes, but not many for No more. Polonia goes to second. Two batters later, Bobby Higginson takes Mark Portugal deep to left. Off the Munster for a long single. Polonia scores. Higginson a two for five day at the plate. One zip Tigers. Top three, five one Tiggers. Bobby Higginson again off Portugal. Aye, Bobby. I did not know you could do it like that. Higginson's eighth home run of the year, 100th jack of his career. Portugal needed some comforting, a hug, something. He lasted just three innings. Top four, 6-1 Tigers. Polonia up the middle off Pat Rapp. Jose Offman makes just, Rich, check this play out. Wow. Sick play, sick glove, sick throw. Offman also reached base five times. Bottom seven, 6-4 Tigers. Reliever Matt Anderson facing pinch hitter Jason Veritek. Peace. Veritek's sixth of the year, two-run shot. The Red Sox third pinch hit home run this year, best in the American League. Tied it at six. Two batters later, a man on. Troy O'Leary facing Anderson. And you know what? I gotta go. O'Leary's ninth of the year. Red Sox take their first lead, 8-6. Now the next batter on a 3-2 pitch. Remember, the count is 3-2. Mike Stanley hit by the pitch. Anderson's ejected by umpire Chuck Merriweather. Brad Osmus and Larry Parrish are just livid. I mean, they're saying things like, oh, I don't know. Let's, let's guess. I believe they're saying, hey, Chuck, you got a 3-2 count on the guy. You're not going to throw at him on a 3-2 count. Red Sox overcame a five-run deficit. Parrish, Osmus, Anderson all ejected. Final score, Red Sox beat the Tigers 8-7. Damian Easley in this game got banged up, tying a major league record. Facing Jose Silva. All right, Todd, bro, I got your point. Hulley hitting only 230 this year, gets his sixth jack of the year, three zip Dodgers. Bottom six, Al Martin at third. See? 3-2 Dodgers, Ed Sprague, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Hits one of the gap off the scoreboard. Martin scores. Sprague hitting 303. Guy was only hit of the game. We're tied at three. Bottom eight, runner on, two outs. You want to know why Jason Kendall's hitting 358? Because dirt and all brother can bring it. Blooper to left. Gary Sheffield cannot come up with it. Kevin Young scores all the way from first. Pirates tie the game at four. And David Johnson needs therapy.
Next batter, Warren Morris. Kendall at third. Morris, a rookie. Hits one to center. Another blooper. Devo can't get to it. Morris, 24 RBI this year. Kendall scores 5-4 Pirates. Davies at that leather couch right now. Pirates win it 5-4. Said Davey Johnson, this one really hurts. On two out, Jackson looking. Bottom of the third, 2-2 two, two tie. Woody Williams facing Ron Belliard. Williams now facing the left field fence, watching Belliard leave the building. Second of the year, 3-2 Brewers. Top of the fourth, same score, Nomo on cruise control. Greg Myers hits one to left center. Jeff Jenkins on the run. Nice grab. One of 15 straight retired by Nomo. Bottom of the eighth, Brewers breaking it open. Mark Loretta gets the bad hop. Bases loaded. Two run score. Bruce Bochy bumming. Padres lose eight to two. Nomo allowed three hits in sitting and facing Ken Griffey Jr. That's Griffey. It is not iffy. He now has 20 home runs before June 1st. The Mariners now have 100 home runs in 50 games. That is the fastest to the century mark in Major League history. Mariners up 6 nothing. Now bottom of the sixth. Alex Rodriguez leading off an A-Rod. Got it. One of two home runs in the game. His first preceded the junior blast that you saw. First time they went back-to-back -back this year. Mariners up 10-5. Next batter, Griffey Jr. and Mike Fetters throws behind him, but Jr.'s not going to bite on any of that. Got to do more than that. Get him ticked off. Seattle hit four homers in the game, giving it 58 for May, tying the Orioles' record for homers in a single month of 58. It's Todd Green in business to do business. Tenth home run of the season. Hawkins is yet to pitch with a lead this season. Angels up 1-0. We're tied at two, top of the eighth. Men on the corners for Todd Walker. Takes Shigatoshi Hasegawa. Deep to left, Terry Steinbach. Comes on down. It's a sacrifice fly. All right. Twins up 3-2. Now Steinbach front and center behind the plate. One man, one on. Jeff Hewson, base hit. Danny Hawking throws home. Todd Green. Knox, Terry Steinbach, silly, but Steinbach holds on to the ball, so Steinbach saves the game and then leaves it as the Twins hold on 3-2. Steinbach just came off the deal with a strained left knee last Friday, and the collision with Green will put him back on the deal.